Okay, so we are here at Pacific Log Headquarters. This is their back door to their facility. And we're gonna install the access, the pack glue access on this door as well. But we have different style door, different style frame, different set of problems, different set of challenges to overcome. You see the first thing is this, or this uh, cylindrical lever set right here. This is a typical lever block with a key, mechanical key override. And the easiest way to set up electronic access on this is electronic strength. This Locknetics CS450 from Allegiant is a very nice option. It's not very deep. It's their closest thing. They call it a no cut strength. But still, you have to modify this area here just a little bit to fit this in there. Um, so this is going to be a great option for here. Uh, one of the challenges that we're going to have is the frame is filled with concrete. Now, just to give you a couple different options, we could bring wiring down through the hinge, but we still have to get into the frame, and there's still going to be challenges with the concrete being filled in there. Ideally, we'd have a, a, an exit device and a surface mount strike on there, but that's just not in the parts for this one. We need to make what we have here work. So, we're going to actually still include this strike. We're actually just going to poke all the way through on the inside of the frame, run the wires up to the blue access device that will power the unit and give it its command to either open or stay locked. And this system should work exactly the same as the front door with just different components. So a aluminum style storefront door on the front with glass is gonna require different parts and a different strategy than a hollow metal door with concrete filled frames like we have here on that. Alrighty, so let's take a look inside here. This is our cylindrical lever set. And this is going to be the strike plate. So we're going to remove the strike plate, cut out the dust box, slide the electronic strike in, and then we're going to come in from the inside on the secure side. Do not run wires out here. If you do that, you're going to compromise your whole electronic access system. You need to be on the secure side of the door, run those wires down with some surface mount molding, pop a hole through the concrete in the frame, run the wires into the electronic strike, and this door should be done. We're going to start off by removing the strike plate and then we're going to go ahead and put some safety glasses on and use a Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel. This is an abrasive metal cutting wheel and we're going to cut the dust box out by scoring it. Remember it is filled with concrete so you have two different things working against you here. You're cutting through the metal and then you're cutting through the concrete that's behind that as well. So it takes a little bit of finesse and it takes a little bit of time, but this little tool will definitely get the job done. You might need a few grinding discs, but that's okay. Here, you can see that we have the cutout lined out in the tape and I'm cutting inside those black lines so that we have a nice tight fit. I can always cut more out to fit it later, but I can't add material back in. And if you cut past where the scar plate covers, then it's gonna be a really sloppy install and you do not wanna have that. So now I'm doing a test fit and there's some concrete in the way. So I'm using a concrete carbide bit and a hammer drill and we're both drilling through the frame to be able to drill into the inside so that we can run the wires in there. And I'm also using that same carbide drill to chisel out some of the mortar that's in my way of my electronic strike. So you can see right here, that it was the portion that was not letting that strike allow to sit flat. So we were able to move that out of the way and chip that stuff out of there. Now we're going back to where we're drilling through the wires, went through all of the concrete or mortar, and then I made a little dimple so that it can be seen on the other side. And then I use a high speed steel drill bit on that side. And now it fits very snug, very nice and we're ready to go ahead and just clean this thing up just a little bit more. Looks like we just have a little tiny bit of trimming to do once we put the scar plate on and that adds just a little bit of thickness as I'm fit. Again, always start out with cutting less. Come into the inside portion here. You can see that everything's- right, This is the back door at the pack block facility. We've got our pack blue mounted right up here. Wires come right down into here. This has actually got concrete or filled frames. So that was one of the problems that we had to overcome with this. We had to get a very small, no cut strike, even though there is some cutting involved, they call it a no cut strike, but it's gonna fit in that little cavity nicely. And we were actually to run, able to run the wires through the frame here with one small hole so that we could get through that concrete and get to the inside. 
The cylindrical lever prep still means that you have the key mechanical key from the outside, yeah. and we have the electronic access from the inside. We also have free egress to get out the door here. Your electronic strike just bolts in right where the strike plate bolted in before. And this is a prime example of how to do a hollow metal style door with frames that are filled with concrete like we did on this one right here. Great, great setup on this one. Awesome. Again, we got this done in about two, two and a half hours. The hardest part was drilling through the concrete and with the proper bits, that's not a problem at all. Yeah, so well done. Great, great setup on here. And Greg, again, just another wonderful product. We didn't have to run any extra sensors. We didn't have to mount a big box. This literally powers and runs everything. Yeah. So great system, another awesome install. Yeah, and if we wanted to mount a sensor, you could. We absolutely could have, right? Could. To track the door actually being opened and closed. Correct, right? you can have a door position sensor, you can yep. add a request to exit, you could run a mag lock, you could run electronic strike, yep. you could run any type of electronic access that is 12 and 24 volt compatible in fail safe or fail secure mode, you can mount on this or the front door as well. Well done. So, awesome. Now, once we have some more time, we'll run the wires th back through some conduit and encase it all in metal and run that up there. In the meantime, this will work for a temporary setup and now you can activate and use the locking system with the Pack Blue app, as you can see right here. For more information, check out Pacific Lock Company and Pack Blue.